first things first, go into the player, add a canvas layer node. Then under the canvas layer node, add a control node. And then at the top, set the control node to fill the screen. Then add in a label. This label will be for an ammo counter, so this is optional. Just play around with the settings until it, it looks right. Set the horizontal alignment to left. I accidentally set it to fill. But if you set it to left, it's so that way it, as you're writing, it doesn't get pushed off the side of the screen. Oh, never mind. Sorry, right. Set it to right. Then under your main player's variable, add in a max ammo variable. Set it to whatever you want it to be. For me, I'm just going to set it to 100. And then add a, I guess, like a current ammo variable. Then add a script to the canvas layer. Add in a reference to the label and a reference to the main player. Then do label.text equals str, because we need to convert the ammo variable into a string. So player dot ammo. Then grab your max ammo variable. Make sure it's got the same spelling, otherwise it'll have a stroke. Then do plus talking mark slash. Then plus str brackets max ammo. Oh, I forgot the player dot. So what this does is it just will print out the label correctly. Add in a texture image, set that to the middle of the screen, then add a crosshair texture of whatever, you have, whatever you've made. For me, I'm just going to set it to white for demonstration purposes. I'm going to scale it down because right now it's incredibly huge. Then add in a progress bar. Scale the progress bar to whatever you'd like. Make sure you set its anchor point down to that bottom corner. And you can play around with the value, you can play around with the steps, max steps. For me, I'm gonna have the health be at a maximum value of 100. So there's no need for me to change any of this. However, I will be changing the steps to one. Now add the reference to the progress bar into the canvas layer. I'm just gonna rename these values just to make it more clean, but you don't have to. So health bar, then you create the health variable inside of the player script. Health bar dot value equals player dot health. Now, I'm just going to change the size a little bit because... Oh, also, don't forget to anchor the ammo label as well. I forgot to do that. Then we're just going to create a damage function. I like to have my own damage function because that's where I can handle the like on-kill event or like on-death event. Now, you don't have to write this this void thing. This just says what it returns. So there's, it's it's just a clean thing. Okay, now health. Now instead of doing health equals health take away damage, you can just do health minus equals damage. And this will do the exact same thing. Now go to project settings, input map, and we're going to, well, you don't have to, but I'm just gonna quickly make a test uh, input just to make sure that the progress bar health and the ammo counter is working. So if input dot is action just pressed, then we'll set it to the test input. Now here I can call the damage function and then give in a value, so I'll just do 50. And we'll 
a test to see if it works. I also changed the health to red to make it look healthy. <laughs> there you go, you see it goes down when I click the um, test button. So now I'll change it to ammo. I don't have a function for ammo, you can add it if you want, but I'll just do the minus equals one. And there you can see it works. If you need help with anything, I have a Discord server that you can join, you can ask questions there. Uh, I'm also working on a main game, so you should check that out, I've got some devlogs on that. Anyway, enjoy, see ya.